The North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, came into force in 1994. It did away with most of the trade barriers that existed between Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Now, before NAFTA, there had been a free trade deal, just between Canada and the U.S. Prime Minister Brian Mulroney and President Ronald Reagan had signed that controversial deal six years earlier. But then Mexico started pushing for its own trade deal with the U.S., and Mulroney decided Canada had better be at the table. When people caught wind of NAFTA, an even broader trade agreement, the debate about whether free trade is good or evil flared up yet again. Foreign trade is the key to prosperity. Free trade will bring on a great depression. Proponents of free trade argued the deal would create jobs and bring prosperity to all three nations. Opponents said it was selling out Canadian sovereignty. Similar debates were happening south of the border too. This was the first time two advanced economies attempted a trade deal with a developing country, and there was a lot of fear that low wages in Mexico would steal away jobs. But in the end, the three leaders succeeded in drafting the agreement, ushering in the North American free trade era. Even the election of two NAFTA critics, Bill Clinton in 1992 and Jean Chrétien in 1993, didn't derail the deal. Bill and Jean merely tinkered with it, adding minor side deals on environment and labor rights. And it wasn't just about the trading of duty-free goods. NAFTA also protects intellectual property rights and created an independent body to resolve trade disputes. Which brings us to the question, has it been a good thing? Most economists would say it worked out pretty well for everyone. Trade between the three countries has almost quadrupled since the deal came into effect. Critics point to lost manufacturing jobs in the US and Canada, but that's largely a result of other factors, like China's rise, technological change, and an aging workforce. And most of us seem to approve. A recent Pew poll found that just 51% of Americans and 60% of Mexicans like NAFTA, but a sizable 76% of Canadians support the deal. The question now is whether Donald Trump's threats to tear up NAFTA mean the trade deal is history. Mm -hmm.